She got her own house. She got her own house. She got, she got, she got, she got, she got her own house. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. So I did give Bank of America a call to get more information about their community affordable loan solution mortgage that they just rolled out. So let's talk about it. I called Bank of America today to get some more information about the community affordable loan solution. And I will be sharing audio today with everyone. From that call, I did ask a few questions and I learned many, many details that were not listed online. Um, so before I jump into the audio, I did want to come in and kind of frame what you're about to listen to. So I waited on hold for about eight minutes and I called the number that is on the press release that I showed everyone last week in the last um, Bank of America video. But I called that number. I waited on hold for about eight minutes. I spoke to, I guess, the frontline rep who asked me a couple of questions and then they transferred me to someone, I'm assuming local to Dallas, who is a uh, MLO um, in Dallas. And so uh, she broke down the program for me. But what I learned just very quickly is that this program is not much different than NACA, y'all, okay? This is kind of like a bait and switch. I'm so glad that I called because you will still be required to go through a, um, I guess, counseling agency to kind of get home ownership ready, kind of just like what you have to do with NACA. And so until you can get the certification from them that you are ready to proceed, then you will not be able to move forward. Now, once that does happen, the difference of, is, is that you will then be working directly with Bank of America from that point forward. That there will be no middleman or middle you know, agency, unlike NACA, where you still have to go through them. Um, but she said that it is a grant program um, and that it takes six to 12 months. It could take six to 12 months. And she specifically called out that this is not for someone who is looking to purchase a home in one to two months. So um, it, it sounded like it was too good to be true, but it's also turning out to be um, not much more of a viable option than NACA. But I just wanted to bring you guys the facts, listen to everything that she had to say. Um, there are multiple counties. It's not cities. It's not like it's just Dallas or Detroit or Miami. You know, it's not those five cities. It's the metropolitan counties surrounding those cities. So I'll um, make sure that I don't know if I'll attach them at the end of the video or maybe make a post on my community feed where she sent me an email and she specifically listed out all of the counties that qualify in the DFW metropolitan area. But that is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. This is audio only on a black screen, okay? If I forgot anything, I apologize. But you guys know the drill. Let's jump down in the comments and let's talk about it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video because it takes a village. Cheers. How can I assist you? Um, I was calling to get more information about the community affordable loan solution that was announced a couple of weeks ago. Yes, sir. The Community Affordable Loan Solution is currently only available in the following areas. Charlotte, North Carolina, Dallas, Texas, Detroit, Michigan, Los Angeles, California, and Miami, Florida. Are you considering purchasing in any of these areas? Yes, I'm in Dallas. Okay, so what I can do is I'm going to ask you a couple questions, get some information, and then get you transferred over to a lending specialist, okay? Okay. To further assist you, she will confirm the information we covered and discuss your purchase loan options with you. Thank you for calling Bank of America Home Loans and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you for calling Bank of America Home Loans. This call may be monitored and or recorded. My name is Hodges calling to get calling to get information about the new grant program that we're offering clients. Yes, for the community affordable okay. loan solution. Yeah. And then for you, first off, the program is in five different counties. It's in the Los Angeles County, Miami Dade County. Wade County, that's in Detroit. Um, and then we got the North Carolina and South Carolina some counties, and then some counties that's in Dallas, Texas. So you're saying it's based on it's based on counties, and not necessarily cities. It's counties, not cities. Oh, nice. That's it's good counties. to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So one of our questions is, uh, one of the scores, the scores are, so it's not um, necessary for you to inform me about maintenance income the child support or um, alimony, if you know, I would wish to consider as a, uh, applying for that with your application. So with you relocating to the Dallas area, metropolitan city, uh, did you work remote? 
Yes. Okay, you do work remote. Okay, so um, because in order for you to be able to meet the income part, you have to show that you're going to have continuation of income. Okay. What What does so, that mean? Um, continuation of income. Continue in, continuation of income is that whatever income that you put on the application, if it is, are you W two or self employed? No, I'm W two. Okay, so the W two employee um, information must be continued when you um after you complete your um once you close on your home so what they're going to do is check your verification of your income mm -hmm. uh, when you get close to coming and it cannot state that you have an end date so that's why i actually do you work remote okay now i did just start a new job um in january is that going to be an issue like how long do like how much employment history do you need so you must have two years of employment history Okay. W2 or two years of taxes if you're self-employed. Okay. But then if you're working a part-time job and you want to use that income, you must be there as far as two years as well. Okay. Two years. Okay. Um, okay. Now, is yeah. there a minimum amount of time? Like if I, if I do now, let me back up. Cause I heard you say that it was a grant program and it's not an actual mortgage. This is just a grant program. Did I hear that right? So it's a grant program to assist you to get a mortgage. And you're, I guess y'all are giving so a grant like for the, you. Huh? Go ahead. So you're, it's a, your permission. Do I have permission to email you? Yes, yes, please. So this program, this email is a summary of uh, the program that we offer. Um, just to clarify once again, this is a grant program to assist you with obtaining a mortgage through Bank of America. Okay? Okay. So let's start off with the six, and it's called the Community Affordable Home Solution Grant. Okay. So the top six bullet points, it states that we will cover 100% loan to value, your debt to income, including... A mortgage cannot be greater than 50% of your debt. So the, the mortgage also includes taxes and insurance. Okay. So your income determ is determined by your gross income, subtracted by all debt that's on your credit report. Okay. Okay. And, and then what your um, new mortgage will be along with the principal interest. I'm sorry, the taxes and insurance. Okay. And then once again, um, you need two years of consistent income. Now, Bank of America, for this program, we don't look at your credit scores, but I'm going to tell you further down who will be looking at it. Okay. Bank of America also will cover your non-recurring closing costs, excluding discount points and prepaid items. And then for the down payment system, for the Dallas Metropolitan City, we will pay up to $10,000. Okay? Okay. Um, and then what the middle section is, is a search engine. And you will be able to search the county that's listed at the bottom of the email or which homes qualify for the grant. It must have a handout with a dollar sign above it to be able to qualify for the um, Community Affordable Home Solution Grant. Okay. So in order for you to even to apply for the grant, you have to be willing to do the net work by going to one of the nonprofit organizations that's listed at the bottom of the email mm -hmm. to be able to take a home buyer's course. The home buyer's course is specifically called the Community Affordable Home Solution Grant. Okay. I highly recommend when you reach out to them, you verbally speak to someone to let them know which of the program, the program that you're trying to take. Do not go on their email site just signing up for a course because not every, it's only one course for the program and that's called the Community Affordable Home Grant. Okay. And when you get your certificate, it must have a Bank of America um, um, stamp on there. Um, I have listed, uh, there's two parts to the actual um, home buyer's course. The first is the actual um, coursework, and then the second part you will meet with a counselor, and they make a determination of how long you meet with them. Now, they are the ones who's going to be looking at your credit scores because they're going to make a determination on what basic mortgage and home buying process and the needs you will need, what financial affordability assessments you may need to take, and then they're going to go over the analysis of the action plan to get you credit ready. Even though we're not going to be looking at the credit scores, they're still going to go over this with you because they are the ones that's going to be signing off on the certificate and that you meet, you know, the requirements, okay? So you mean one and of these four people gonna, right here, one of these four companies right here are going to be doing that? Yes. Okay. Yes, they're non Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I didn't list their phone number because I want you to, you know, you have to reach out to them to, um, to be able to contact them. Okay. 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 Again, the counties are listed below. Um, there's, once again, this is Dallas Metropolitan, uh, Metropolitan County. It is not just Dallas County. Okay. 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 Again, if you are an individual who wants to do a two to four unit, you will have to take an additional course on top of the Community Affordable Home Solutions Grant. You will have to take the Landlord Education course, okay? Mm-hmm. 
But then once you do get your certificate, you will reach out to me. You do have my contact information at the bottom of the email. You will email me your certificate. Okay. And then uh, we, I will send you the link to complete the application online so that we could go ahead and go through the application so we could submit it to the underwriters uh, to get your pre-approval so you can start shopping for a home. Okay. Now, how long is this, um, like, with the Habitat for Humanity or something? Like, how long am I expected to meet with them? Like, do you know how long that process will take? Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't answer that. You will actually have to tell, you know, meet with one of the counselors to see how long your process will take. Everybody's process is different. So this might not be a quick process? It's not for someone who's trying to purchase a home in a month or two. It's not. This is for somebody who's looking to purchase a home within six months or a year. Within six to 12 months. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So so this is not, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be working directly through Bank of America until I get past that first step. And then I'll be working with you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. But then as far as like the closing of the loan and all of that stuff, that's mm -hmm. going to be me working mm -hmm. directly and my realtor working directly with you. Yes, it's absolutely correct. Okay. Now, is there a minimum amount of time that I must live in the house? Yes, there is an um, income qualification. You cannot make greater than $132,473. No, like how so long do I have to stay? Do How long do I have to stay there before like I can refinance? or oh, a year. Oh, a year. Okay, okay. It's just the same as a, it's the same as conventional law. It's, it is a conventional law. Okay. Okay. And now what about the interest rate? Is there, do I get a better interest rate through this program, through this grant program? The interest rate is the same, is equivalent to what, uh, actual, um, convention, it's a conventional, a conventional loan. loan okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Cause I can't, you know, the rates right now are fluctuating. Yeah. So I don't really talk, I'm not going to be really talking about, about what rates right now because we don't know what the rates are going to be by time. It's ready to exactly. Be the locker rate, even when we do approve approval, approval is not, the rate is still not locked. You what I'm yeah. So, um, how long does the rate lock last? Like, if I were to do new construction, so we could we have construction loans that last up to a year, one hundred sixty-five days. Um, you can lock a rate. But okay, so what if it's, um, I what if I don't want to do a construction loan? Like, what if I'm just going through with like a HOA community? The average, the HOA, the um, the average time for a conventional is. We can lock up to 45 days okay. if you need to extend it because the commitment period, uh -huh. what we can, but then you will have to pay for that. That's what we say. We do not do, uh, we only pay, uh, we don't pay for excluding discount points and prepay items. Prepay items is an uh, extension of a rate longer than 45 days. Our commitment period is 45, up to 45 days. Okay. So if you want to go beyond that, then you will have to pay for that. Okay. Do you happen to know, um, like, how much that is? I can't take because it's based off the cost of the loan. Oh. And the percentage of what your points are being charged. So, Ooh. yeah, I can really tell you that right now. Okay. Okay. Um, so I, I'm um, going through the NACA process right now. So I'm familiar with kind of, you know, like how these kind of programs mm -hmm. work a little bit and how they're not um, quick. But I was hoping that this one would be a little bit faster. So, I mean, if you're saying six to 12 months, like what, well, I guess, what is the hold up? What would take something six to 12 months? So, so the reason why I'm saying that is because it depends on how long your counselor works with, uh, with you. And then it also depends on how far fast you find a house. Okay. All that can take into consideration. And yeah. once you, the thing is, once you submit your, um, you submit your application for clear approval, that takes up to 10 days to come back. But then it really depends on, when I say six to 12 months, I'm talking about the entire process for you to find a home. You can come to Dallas and, you know, look through all these counties and you might not be satisfied with uh, the prices are. So that's why I'm taking that all in consideration. Okay. Yeah, so um, so given that you know this home, are you going to satisfy when that, are you just, so how is that going for you? So I'm just looking to weigh my options. I'm just looking to weigh my options. I thought, I honestly thought that this would be quicker okay. because it's the same, you know, no PMI, no closing costs, no down payment. Yep. Um, but it, but it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like this is going to be any quicker than the NACA process. But does it change my timeline now yeah. that you know I'm already in Dallas? Does it make it speed up? How long is NACA saying it's taking? I don't know how long. I've, I've never heard. I mean, I heard it talk about, but I don't know how long it takes. Um, I mean, about the same time. Yeah, yeah, it's about. So the thing is, like I said, it, it really depends on how much work you have to do with the counselor. And then once you get past that, that you know, you at second base. Yeah. You got to you at second base. 
into third, you know, making a third and home is about third, making a third base and then making a home plate has to do with you and your realtor finding a home that's going to be for you, but that meets the guidelines right. uh, that qualifies for the program. So that's the, that's going to be, a, you know, the biggest thing right? because you're finding that home. Okay. Okay. So it's not really the, it's not really the counseling course. If you already made it so far in the counseling that part should be able for you to move faster. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you already know what you need to do. But it's just the shopping for a home. Because I live in Dallas. I'm, I'm about to get closed on my home in September. And I know these, these houses are crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That that actually makes me think of another question, Toya. So you you said in this email it says that it's ten thousand dollar up to ten thousand dollars in the Dallas area towards um a down payment. Mm-hmm. Now like mm-hmm. is what if it's gonna be more than ten thousand to cover okay, like the twenty percent? So the reason the way we're able to cover all the costs is because look at loan to value. We're covering up to a hundred percent. So when it's not a hundred percent, that means if it's like 95 or 10, that means you got to bring up a part to closing. Okay. So if we cover it up 100% and then cover it 100% of the loan, then the, yeah, I hear what you're saying, like, cause, because of the taxes. The taxes in Dallas is higher. Right. We're willing to go up to 106%. So if it means to cover all the costs, it, it can go up to 106% on the value to make sure we cover everything far and beyond over the loan. Because you're right. Taxes in Dallas, the average tax percentage is between, especially in Collin County, is about 2.5 or higher. Right. So, yeah, we, we cover that part as well. Okay. Okay. So I guess to get started, I need to first contact the people in the email or one of the people in the email and then just um, do my part, do my legwork, and then mm-hmm. reach back out to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Okay. So if I have any more questions that come up, can I just send you an email? Yes, it's easier to email me because I'm in a call center. Um, and sometimes it's difficult to get them to call me. Right. Yes, email me. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Well, thank you. You've been very helpful. You taught me so much more that was not on the internet about this program. So thank yeah. you. No problem. No problem. Glad I was able to assist. Okay. All right. I'll be in touch. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Bye.